sustain business growth across generation to inspire influence and connect family businesses and professionals so the concept of family business has evolved has been studied um, has been sparked as you know that uh, uh, the humble beginnings of John like uh, he started doing business uh, as early as 18 years old <laughs> and uh, he will wake up early in the morning, like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to uh, go to the carbon market, uh, which is the famous market in Cebu, and uh, uh, he will sell the rice and corn grits, and uh, that's actually basically how he learned mm -hmm. you know, the trick and trades of the business yes. that's why uh, I, I think that this that led him to become who he is today also and uh, after that uh, 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 yeah, if, I, if I may add um, our um, business in the family is really our wholesale and retail of fresh um, products and also um, corn and rice so um, John is the youngest son so he helped basically our mom um, operate our uh, store you know, in in carbon market. So, yes. yeah. so it was uh, during uh, the, the the sister and the, the father was diagnosed by critical illness that uh, uh, John actually realized how important is uh, the value of. Planning or, or having yeah. having a protection, so that's mm. that led him actually to to look for an you know, an insurance companies mm. company to mm. to join with. Right. Uh, so John actually was very successful in the insurance business. Actually, he was awarded as like uh, best rookie unit managers of yeah. all of the awards actually mm. uh, during that time mm. he really gained it so and uh, after that mm. uh, because uh, uh, that's how we met actually with John during yeah uh, <laughs> he invited he invited me to join the, the insurance business so we started actually uh, being John as our manager, and I was uh, the the financial advisor then. And uh, since actually, our uh, uh, we like to really like uh, innovate. Yeah. I think that expand, the, expand our skills, and right? <laughs> we want to be, uh, become professional. Uh, uh, I think one of the passion of John is also his professionalization. Yeah. So he studied here and abroad, and he even uh, the the first mm -hmm. one to study uh, the EMD, which is the essential management for uh, leaders. Leaders, and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, we ha he is also pioneer in uh, the. The, uh, uh, the, the ESA, ESA course, um, yes, executive uh, education um, course of ESA and um, UANP. Yes. Yeah. So, and another one is in Heritage Institute. Institute. Yes. Yeah, so in the uh, that's Texas. how he yeah, yeah. In, yeah in Houston. Uh, that's how he developed his active active listening actually, and so. Uh, since it's really her passion, his uh, it's really his passion to really uh, become like professionally yeah. <laughs> equipped, and yeah. uh, uh, it was sometime 20, 2011 yeah. when we actually first organized an event, uh, mm -hmm. which actually the purpose of that is more on the uh, serving families of wealth. Of wealth, yeah. yeah so so um, John already had a network of families who would who he served as a consultant mm -hmm. in terms of managing their wealth so um, he found that he wanted to bring that kind of service to the mainstream so um, one of the best ways to do that um, was to create a conference that will address that need so um, we call that 
conference, the first family inheritance conference. And it wouldn't be possible without the um, help of the collaborators around us, the Ayala Business Club, um, the PICPA even helped us with that. No? So there were a lot of convergence of, of um, personalities who really made that conference um, possible. Yeah, so uh, after then, after the success of that event, uh, about 250 families joined mm. in the conference. So. Um, there are a lot yeah. of inquiries already coming in. All right. So um, little did we know that the message of that conference sparked a lot of interest mm -hmm. among the attendees. So we, st as Genevieve said, we started getting a lot of inquiries of um, how can we connect with you? How can you help us um, organize our family, manage our wealth, prepare our inheritance, sustain our unity, prosper our business? So that really started the, the family enterprise planning service. service. So we had, we had the conference November, October? Uh, that was October. Yeah. yeah, October, towards the end of October. Mm -hmm. And then we had our first family right. enterprise planning Plan engagement, engagement in December. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. So there were three families um, who engaged with us during that time. So these were the pioneer um, clients that we yeah. have. Um, but of course, we did this together with a team of multidisciplinary consultants. So our speakers became um, part collaborators of the service. So we have Jacob Kabochan, who did the leadership succession process. We have attorney Jim Lopez, who did the ownership succession uh, process. And then um, John was the head consultant for the entire family enterprise planning. I was head for family strategy in the family culture building process. Yeah. So basically, we didn't plan for this. Yeah. Uh, it's just like it's a God-given <laughs> uh, business. So we really wanted to let it grow. So it will also help a lot of families and business. So the, the, the history of John being um, immersed in business in Garbon from our own family business and the meeting of John and Genevieve in the life insurance profession um, really led to the events um, in, the, in, the, in the birth of the family business consulting. Um, well, I've mentioned the family enterprise planning process it's a four parallel planning process. The heart of the, of the planning process is the family unity building, where we help the family strengthen, deepen um, their relationship and create the mission, vision, and core values together. Um, so it's basically helping the family create a roadmap where they want to go. And then after that, um, the three other processes are parallel. Um, they can go simultaneously. Um, I've mentioned leadership succession. So through that, the families benefit the creation of policies before the need. Also, through that, the families benefit by addressing current issues that um, may hinder their growth, that may hinder a uh, fulfilling relationship. So what are these examples? For example, um, um, issues on, on compensation, issues on on um, shares, issues on, on clear um, job description, who manages what, who decides what. So these are things that the family are able to clarify um, in the leadership succession process. And in the ownership succession process, the family benefits by being able to prepare for the risks that may, be, um, that may threaten their, their assets, and also, let's say for example, you like you might want to ask what threats, no? So threats of unsuccessful marriage, the threats of illegitimate children, um, and so on and so forth, and even untimely death. So in the ownership succession, we help the family benefit from up from a, uh, a systematic preparation of how to to prepare for this risk. At the same time, we the family is able to to have a a planning as to how their ownership will be structured 
where so that there's the ownership structure will reflect their goals for longevity and then there's also financial planning which which Genevieve is um, a pioneer in so yeah. would you like to share about what financial planning is in business you know, actually uh, financial planning is it's really creating a roadmap of your financial goals right yeah, achieving your uh, your dreams and aspirations mm. in life but in family business we do it like becoming a good steward of your 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 money right, you know, that, right. that you receive mm. from your your business mm. so, so mm. Uh, how you you make it grow more mm. in order to to give back also to to mm. to hopefully to your future uh, your employees if you have your own business for right. those mm. years because mm. we do uh, uh, financial planning for yeah. years so yeah. you make sure that you manage uh, well the wealth and then you grow it and eventually become a good steward mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And and by and by good steward, we um, that also translate to helping heirs um, create a roadmap of their dreams, such as education, um, such as uh, a comfortable retirement. Because many times these are basic family needs that are not given so much attention to, and this may translate into not letting go because I don't know. My retire. Yeah. I don't know what my sure. retirement will look like, or um, um, issues on compensation because I don't know how I can send my my kids to school. So this really helps ease the the issues in the family business. Financial planning helps ease the issues in the family business by looking at the welfare of the family, specifically in education, retirement, and other dreams. It could even be. Um, other dreams, other right? Dreams. Oh, like uh, becoming eventually becoming uh, financially, yeah, yeah, independent mm -hmm. for the for the years of the family business. Mm. Of the, so yeah. that completes the in big uh, yeah. Process. Another uh, in uh, in uh, a general sense, actually, uh, the the we have the FEP or the family enterprise plan yeah. is basically uh, it helps the family become professional so, mm. so organize and organize and become professional in a way so in terms of decisions mm. and while uh, the OSE yes uh, yeah so the organizational also, systems the, effectiveness uh -oh, is also helping professionalize the business, the business. so basically uh, it's more on the professionalizing the, the business first and professionalizing the family. Or the business. Or the family. Yeah, professionalizing the family and professionalizing the business. Yeah, that's all about the product. Right, for, for families and business out there who aspire to really develop their um, next generation of leaders, their younger generation, um, it's best to prepare now to look into um, how you can uh, create mechanisms for good governance, how you can create mechanisms for uh, proper ownership planning and financial planning, and even an investment into your family relationship. Because these investments will really go a long way um, in, your, in your family and will save the family from all the unnecessary troubles and conflicts Right, especially if you create them even before there's a need. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for those uh, families in business, uh, I think uh, this is uh, this is a new uh, a new uh, service. service, or this is a, a solution or solution. <laughs> this is a, a science. Actually, yeah. it's a new science that was True. discovered uh, uh, recently. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, so many. If it's a science, if it's a science, so there's a solution in every in every challenges or actually, issue or issues in the family. So right. there's so much of issues actually mm. in the family business. Right. So uh, I know that it's. Uh, it's not only that one family business experiencing that uh, that um, that that the the challenges, but it's all all the family business are are having the challenges. Similar. So right now we have the solution actually uh, right. to really just uh, address 
that, 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 that,